Hey, what's everyone? I uh, wanted to talk about these African dwarf frogs. These are fully aquatic frogs, and um, they've been in the hobby for quite some time. Um, <clears throat> uh, when we went to the fish store, I told my son he could pick um, any fish of his choice, and then he saw these frogs, um, any fish that was compatible at least, and he saw these frogs, so he got a, got a couple of these guys. And um, they're doing pretty well. They are. Um, they do breathe air, so you'll see them go to the top to um, get some air from time to time. And um, but they do. They are fully aquatic, so they do need to always be in water, or they will dry out. They're super peaceful and, and friendly. Um, you know, frogs. Uh, they will eat anything that fits in their mouth. So baby fry, they will eat. Um, they are very finicky eaters. Um, they don't have a good sense of smell. You can see they're pretty silly. Um, as that guy's swimming around. So for a while I was actually just hand feeding them or um, using some, some um, plier or tweezers to uh, feed them bloodworms. Um, and I'll show you that real quick. I'll go to that video. All right, so you, you know you saw them eating out of the, the tweezers, but now they eat pretty well. Uh, or, you know, you, you usually can find a few worms on their own. Um, and they're really easy fish to care for. You can have them in real small tanks, like, um, you know, two gallon tanks. You can have one in there and they're not finicky at all. They're just, uh, the only thing you have to worry about is um, feeding them. They're, they do like blood worms or, or live blood worms or black, or, sorry, live black worms. Blood worms are really good for them. Um, they do like to be shaded or have spaces to hide, so they will hide a lot during the day. So, you know, there's some little caves and stuff in here for them. Sometimes you'll see them float um, at the ceiling just as um, they, look, they almost look like they're dead, but they just kind of um, do that just as they rest. So, um, you know, they bring a lot of character to the tank. I actually surprisingly liked them. I've never owned them, but they've been in the hobby again for a long time. Um, you can see these guys, the uh, other one in the back got food. Um, you know, water parameters are all pretty normal. Um, you know, you want to keep a tropical temperature in the 70s and Fahrenheit. <coughs> and yeah, I've just been feeding them um, frozen, frozen bloodworms, um, you know, as they, again, are finicky eaters. So if you have a lot of fast, fast fish with them, you'll want to make sure that um, they get food because they can be, you know, challenging to feed a little bit. I think they've gotten used to my tank now. So they kind of find the worms and we'll start feeding them. Um, but you can see there's a big pile of worms and they're still not really finding them. So um, as I showed you before, I do hand feed them, but you know, these are super great, um, easy addition um, and an easy starter fish um, for many folks, not a fish or frog. Um, and you know, they're just kind of cool looking and kind of goofy looking at the same time. So yeah, I like them. Um, they, you know, bring a nice dynamic to the tank as this guy's going to the top. Is he gonna go? Yep, he gets a little gulp of air and he's back down again. So, Anyways, um, you know, feel free in the comments to let me know if you have any questions or if you have these fish, what your experience is, or these frogs, excuse me, and uh, what your experience is. And there you go. So that guy got a big old bunch of worms. So, you know, again, they, they find their way eventually. So the one had one right under his nose and it's like, I don't even see it. So, you know, anyways, thanks for watching.